Please don't forget to like this video and if you haven't done so already, click the subscribe button, then click the bell and then click all. Every like and subscribe helps us make more great videos for you. This guide shows you how you can save web pages in Google Chrome. So all you need to do is open Google Chrome and there's two ways of doing this. One way is to save it as a PDF, which I'm gonna show you first of all. So we'll just get up a web page, for instance, let's just go to, I don't know, let's just go to bbc.co.uk forward slash news. Let's just have a look at the news on there. And say for instance, if we wanted to save this particular page here just picked one at random so click on the three dots in the top right hand corner of the screen click on print and then what we want to do is we want to make sure that destination just to the right of destination we want to have save as pdf selected so make sure save as pdf is selected then click on save and then it will ask you to give the page a file name. It's already suggested one. It's gonna download it in the downloads folder. So let's just leave it as that and click on save. And as you'll see here is if we go into the downloads folder now. So I'm just gonna open up the little yellow folder at the bottom of the screen, go to downloads. And there it is just there. If I double click on that, that should open up. There you go. It's asking us what do we wanna open it up in. Let's open it up in Edge, shall we? and uh, it should give us what we've basically just uh, sent to the PDF file. Might take a few seconds to come up, and here we go. So there you go, it's given me a print of the page just there, as you can see, just as it was uh, printed, if, if it was printed from a printer. Now, the other way we can do this is to Let's just close down Microsoft Edge and I'm just gonna delete this file, shut this down and I'm gonna go back into Google Chrome. And this time I'm gonna download an add-on. So I'm gonna to go to the three dots in the top right hand corner of the screen, go to settings and then once settings is loaded, I'm gonna to go to extensions down there in the bottom left hand corner. Okay, and then I'm gonna click on the three horizontal lines in the top left hand corner and then go down and click on open Chrome web store. Then once Chrome Web Store's open, I'm gonna click in search the store, I'm gonna type save as MHT. That's save as MHT. Press the enter or return button on the keyboard, and then I'm gonna click on this save as MHT here, the one with the arrow pointing down and the dot MHT in there. So let's just click on that. Then I'm gonna click on this add to Chrome up here, and then I'm gonna click on add extension. Now this bit might take a bit of time, there we go, it's now installed. So I'm just gonna get rid of that little cross there. I'm gonna click on the jigsaw puzzle there and I'm just gonna click on the little drawing pin just to the right of save of, as MHT, just so it pins it up to the top of the screen there. Now all I need to do now is let's just go to the page that I want to save as. So I'm just gonna to go to the BBC News page once more. And let's go to the same story, just to give you a comparison. So I'm gonna to go to that story there. I'm gonna move my mouse over this MHT just here, click on the right mouse button, and I'm gonna click on the second save as .mht there. That's not the top one, it's this one here. And that's a left click, okay? And this will ask us, what do we wanna call it? Well, I'm just gonna leave it as is. I'm gonna click save, and there you go. It's now saved it into the downloads folder. So I'm gonna click on the cross in the top right hand corner, Go to the little yellow folder at the bottom of the screen there, go to downloads, and there we go, there it is there. I'm gonna double click on this, and hopefully it will open again in, like I say, in, uh, in Microsoft Edge. But as you'll see this time, the page is more like the original web page rather than a print. So you can see there, the news section there has got more color in it. And if we scroll down the page, as you can see, all looks pretty good. There's a couple of pictures missing off of there, but, uh, pretty good for uh, a, a, a save as a web page. So there you go, that guide showed you two different ways you can save a web page to your computer using Google Chrome. I hope this guide helps and don't forget to check out my other videos. Thanks for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at CWTech. That's at CWTech on Twitter. And don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel. Just Google Chris Waite YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.